Okay, we are gonna do a different application today of the mascara makeup. Um, I'm gonna show you a different way that we do this. First, I'm gonna wet a sponge though. Just dampening it with the stay spray. You can wet it with water, you can wet it with your setting spray, your milk toner, however you want to dampen it. It just needs to be damp. Pressing it into the face a little bit. You know, no big deal. Now, what we're going to do this time, this is going to be another one of these way on the far end of application of getting ready and things like that. Um, as far as um, putting the makeup on and things like that, okay? Um, I turned my light on. I don't know if that helps or not. Anyway, so I'm taking just a simple BB cream. You can take a BB cream, a CC cream, um, tinted moisturizer, anything like that. Um, this is AOA Studio. It's a dollar from Shop Miss A. Um, anyway, I've got light and fair. Um, and what I do is I just put a dollop on the back of my hand. Of both colors like I said this is no this is gonna be far end of extra okay just telling you take my sponge mix them up on the back of my hand and then we're just going to pat it all over our faces okay the reason we're doing this now if you have very oily skin this will help you tremendously okay if you have discoloration and patchiness this will help you okay because we're just putting down a basic layer of extra moisturizer okay and coverage okay just a very very light layer this is not like what you would do if you were going to wear this on its own okay I'm just using it as basically a light primer. Um, I've already primed my face with the Stay Spray, but this is just an extra layer of primer to smooth out the skin and things like that. So then we will go in with our regular um, makeup and go ahead and do the neck where we make it a little bit darker i use my darker color on my neck so it blends down very nicely again this is um wheat and i can't read the other one i just smeared it i think it's sandy is what it is it's just a combination of the two of those I mixed together. Again, going in over the redness and the spots with that darker color always helps. And it helps when you use the BB cream or the CC cream um, as well. Now I'm just putting on my regular um, highlight color all over. And again, using very little product of this, I'm just tamping it down like that into the product. It doesn't pick up a lot. Picks up very little product, which is good. So it's just a stamp down motion, just like that. Okay, very, very little product. And then take that and I'm stippling it into the skin. I'm not swiping or anything like that. Um, you don't want to swipe because it'll rub the makeup off. Okay. Just tamping it down in there, picking up some product, putting it on. But like I said, using that BB cream and that CC cream, that is going to 
give you another layer of moisture. It's going to give you another barrier to your skin. It's going to help even that skin tone. Okay, and this just melds in with whatever else you have on your face. That's the great thing about these cream products. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Okay, going in and doing a little spot correcting on the little places that I know that bother me. Just gonna pick up just a little bit of product. Doesn't take a lot. Just put it on those spots. Just like that. Easy peasy. And then we're gonna go in with our contour now. Okay. We're gonna go in with ash. Okay, just put a little bit on there and find your magic line right there. Okay, and I'm just putting it on. See, it just angles your face right there. That's what your contour is for. Just to carve out and to angle and what's left, we just put it under our chin, like that, okay? If you wanna contour your nose, you may contour your nose. I don't like to contour my nose. I like my nose just fine, so I don't mess with that. But if you would like, in another video, me to show you how to contour your nose, I would be happy to. I'm going in with the thicker end of the brush and just pushing this into the skin Kind of feathering it up. This helps just to blend it out. Same thing down here. We're just gonna blend it down our necks. Okay, just like that. Okay, still it's it's a good contrast. I'm gonna come in now with um, just a pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up the color indigo. Okay, and we're gonna line our lips. The reason we're doing this is because it makes your lips appear fuller if you've got that dark shadow. See? We'll blend all that in, trust me. Okay, trust me. We'll blend it all. We'll blend it all. I know, it's crazy. Next, we're gonna go in with our lip and cheek colors. And I think today I want to do, I think I'm gonna go with baby watermelon. That one right there. Get a little bit of color. Just pick up a little bit. Find your spot. Right above where we did our contours where your blush goes. And again, I'm just tamping it down and picking up a little bit as I go. Okay, just like that. Come over to the other side. I'll be honest, for years, I never wore blush because my face was always so red anyway. But y'all, I love this blush because it's cream and it just melds into your skin and it's just perfection. Now we are gonna go in with our Bella bronzer. Just gonna pick a little bit up on this and just warm all this area up, meld our colors together just like that okay then we're gonna go back in with our original brush and pick up moonlit so we can highlight 
places. Get down our nose, forehead. All area, all areas like that. Okay. I notice we hit the 10 minute mark. Um, if I were not talking and taking my time to do this, we would be done by now. Um, but I am taking my time to do this. Now we're going to blend all of this out. Okay. You don't have to pick up more product if you don't want to. Um, it's completely up to you. I do tap a little bit into it. Just pick up a little bit of product. And then clear everything out like that. Make sure there's no other areas that I need to spot treat. Okay, I do see a couple little places I'm gonna go back in with. And just touch up a little bit. That's the only bad thing about bad skin. You know, not the only bad thing, but it's one of the worst. All right, so now I'm gonna just go back in with what's left on my contour brush and just sweep that down, starting it up just a little bit. Now, at this point, you can call it done. You can spray um, the stay spray if you want to or whatever your setting um, spray is. I am going to powder though. Um, I'm just going in with the Cody Airspun, okay? And just a dry little blender. Tap out under my eyes because you don't want to set any creases. And this is going to get messy. I'm just telling y'all. See all that fallout? It's all good though. I promise. Okay. Same thing over here. Tap out any creases you have. And then we're going to bake it. Down here. Same thing. Basically, anywhere you've put your highlight. This is where you're going to want to bake, just like that. And what this does is it warms up against your skin and melds into your skin. And then you have a solid, flawless look for the rest of the day without touching up, without having to do any of that. Now, if you like that dewy look, then this is not for you, okay? So, we're gonna let that sit on there. And again, that was just the Cody Airspun you can buy at Walmart. Um, <clears throat> it's just a great translucent powder, especially if you are gonna bake. Um, now we're gonna go in and do our eyebrows while that sits on our skin and let the um, warmth of your skin heat that up. We're going in with Cola. Um, it is our darkest contour shade, um, but I use it for my eyebrows. So.
we're just running an angled brush through the eyebrows just like that always make sure that your eyebrows are darker toward the back and wider toward the inner corner um, that's the most natural looking so that's why I put all the product more toward the back um, if you want an eyebrow tutorial of just ways to do your eyebrows um, I'll be more than happy to do a couple of videos for you just let me know down below um, send me a message whatever so now we're just combing back through them with the spoolie just dispersing the product um, and really, that's all I do for my eyebrows. Um, I don't go in and set them with anything else um, or anything like that. I'm going to go in with Cayman, which is our um, powder contour color. And just set where I contoured with that. Then, now it's time to take off our bake. Um... You can leave your bake on there as long as you want. Um, I don't feel the need to leave it on like an excessive amount of time. I'm just going in with Urban Decay's All Nighter um, Setting Powder. Just You can actually go back in with a Cody Airspun if you want to. Pick a little bit up. You don't need much. It's just to help dust everything off. It just helps if you have a little bit of powder on the brush when you go to do it. And always remember, if you put your foundation down your neck, go ahead and put your powder down your neck. That way it's perfectly set. Now I'll have a look coming up too about using different color setting powders um, for different parts of your face. Um, so that'll be coming up in the next couple of days or so, I'm sure. Alrighty. So, just running the excess that was on the end of that. Now we will go in with our illuminator. And I think we'll go in with that one. Um, amazing first we're gonna put starlet on which is a cream just to give it something to hold on to stab it wherever you want it just taking a little brush picking it up look at that look at that highlighter you're gonna see me in outer space my favorite thing look at that Look, look, look. Put it over your cupid's bow. You can put it above your eyebrows. You can put it wherever you want. Because it's amazing. And I'll just go in with another little brush and just kind of tamp it down. Again, not necessary. But, you know, I like to be extra 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 and then you are done set it with setting spray you can use the stay spray or you can use urban decay's all-nighter whatever you're more comfortable with you don't have to set it if you don't want to but other than that you are done so that's just another way to use the mascara with um a bb or a cc cream so like i said i'll be having other tutorials come up um about different setting powders and um, other ways to you know do the um hack the highlight and contour so questions comments things like that leave them down below if there's a look you want to see um, i will be more than happy to do it for you just let me know and i'll talk to you soon bye